Hello everyone, Keith here. Today's video is going to be a little different. We're not at a museum or an historical site of some kind. What I'm going to do today is show you how to clean a gravestone. This is the stone we're going to clean. Anna here is actually my first cousin once removed. And her daughter has uh, requested that I clean this stone and given me permission to. And you can see the stains here. And this is all biological is what is what this uh what the stains are and what we're going to do is we're going to use something called d2 have a bottle of it here this is d2 this is what the park service uses to clean veterans headstones it won't damage the stone and it's safe to use and so what we're gonna do now is start to clean the stone. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this water bottle here, this spray bottle, and we're gonna spray the stone down. Get a little water on it. Now we're gonna take this spray bottle here that's got D2 in it, and we're gonna spray the stone down with the D2. And what we're going to do now, now that we've sprayed it down with D2, we're going to take this brush to brush the stone with. And you want to make sure it's a brush with real soft bristles on it so you don't damage the stone. Now we're going to come back and put some more water on it. After we brushed it, we'll put some more water, kind of wash all this down. And you can see some of that just washing off of there. There are really two ways you can do this. You can do it like I am and brush it or you can just leave this D2 on there. And in a period of time, it may take weeks, a couple of months, it'll work its magic and, and start to clear this up. But for the video, I'm kind of brushing it, I'm going ahead and brushing it down to kind of show you more of what the results will be.
Okay, so there you see what it looks like so far. Her inscription is a little bit cleaner now than what the other side, than what his is. But that's what it's done so far. And what I'm gonna do now is put one more coat of D2 on and leave it. Won't put any water, won't scr uh, scrub it down because this stuff will continue working in the, the weeks and months ahead to go ahead and eat the rest of this growth off of here. Like I say, this stuff is completely safe for, for gravestones or any type of stone like that. You know, it's, it's uh, what the National Park Service uses and it will clean them up. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you've got any gravestones of family members that have a biological growth growing on it like that, and D2 is, is a product that will definitely work. It's safe and it will uh, get rid of that. You can do it the way I done it here and apply it. You know, apply some, apply some water, put some D2, use a brush, and you get a little more instant results. And then you can, you don't even have to use the brush if you don't want to. And if it's, if it's an older stone with the inscription is starting to wear down, I probably wouldn't, you know, use a brush on it. You can just put some water down on it, uh, spray the D2, and just leave it. And it may take several weeks, it may take a few months, but you'll start to see a result over it. You know, the weather will help with it, the rain and everything, washing all that off, and eventually it will clear all that growth off of there. And like I say, it's, it's completely safe. And you can find D2, you can go online, there's several different uh, vendors that you can buy it from. It's kind of expensive, costs about 50 or $60 a gallon in most places, but a gallon will go a long way, and you can buy it in smaller contents. If you just had one stone to clean, you can buy it in less than a gallon, but it doesn't really take a whole lot of it to, you know, to, to clean a stone. If you've got several that, that uh, you might clean, then a gallon, like I say, it will go a long way, and you can buy it in smaller contents. So... Hope that helps, if, you know, if you have any stones like that that you, you know, want to clean up and make it look better. So anyway, until next time, if you enjoyed this video, be sure and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification uh, thing so you know when we make a video, and be sure and share this video. Until next time, so long, everyone.